when you do organic farming and you do biodiversity intensive farming what is biodiversity intensive you're letting plants grow what do plants do they take carbon dioxide and the sunlight and through photosynthesis they give you food on the one hand and oxygen on the other they are the biggest carbon sequestering system some of this goes into the soil either directly through the liquid carbon pathway or indirectly through the leaf fall or through the crop residues research is now showing you know on our farm we have a hundred time percent more carbon hundred percent more nitrogen than and the farmers next door who are using nitrogen fertilizer have a minus 22 percent they're losing nitrogen but we have micronutrients in the soil we have three thousand percent more fungi in the soil what are the fungi doing they're bringing nourishment from the soil to the plant and that's where the food nourishment comes that's why chemical soils are losing all nourishment 70 percent 90 percent of nourishment in the foods of europe and the foods of america has gone so while we solve the climate problem we also solve the food security problem and we solve the biodiversity problem just this summer you talked about the heat i was sitting in the farm it was hotter than we've ever seen and i, I said to my team let's measure let's measure the soil on our farm and the soil in the forest next door especially our farm with all the trees around it the temperature difference was 25 degrees centigrade between the urea farm and our biodiverse farm mm -hmm. the soil moisture difference was 15 percent so we are creating deserts with chemical farming with the ecological agriculture we are regenerating the soil the biodiversity and healing the climate cycle because these are not separate problems they are one problem of an assault on the living processes of a living earth and working with the living earth which is what ecological agriculture is about which is what ecofeminism is about yes we can we can increase resilience and it's not that some of these disasters are just going to go away we are now having floods in the northeast you know but when you have flood tolerant and soil tolerant crisis it does help you survive and the next season you'll be able to have a crop so there are solutions that the billionaires don't look at, can't see, but they are in the hands of peasants and women and indigenous people. And these are the solutions for not just dealing with climate change as a phenomenal, you know, physical phenomenon of disaster, but a change in mindset. I think that's the whole issue. In my view, climate change is a result of a fossilized mechanical mind that does not see energy as anything else that comes from them, that, that comes from uh, outside the self-organized powerful capacity of living systems including the self-organized power of women is what they are blind to and that blindness is the denialism that is pushing us to disaster and all we have to do is remove that blindness and take away the power that allows them to impose that blindness on all of the world <laughs>